What's up guys? I'm the Darts Referee. Welcome to my channel. This is episode three of a series that I've been doing where I try to become a professional dart player over the course of a year. Now, with this being episode three, if you didn't watch episode one or episode two, links to those will be in the description below. So go and watch them first, just to get a little bit of context and to see how the journey has gone so far. So I know a lot of you are probably going to say, why is episode three so far away from episode two? We recorded episode two back in March and it's currently July, which is four months after episode two. Now, the idea for this originally was to do one episode per month, but the last few months haven't gone to plan. So in this video, I'm going to explain exactly what went wrong. And I'm also going to explain why four months down the road, I've decided to bring the series back. If you guys have enjoyed this series and you want to see me make this a monthly thing, or maybe even every two weeks, just to give you guys an update on what's going on, then please hit that like button. It tells me that you're enjoying the videos and also it helps YouTube understand that you guys are enjoying the videos as well. Meaning that more people will end up watching this video and it's all thanks to you. So if you want to support me and you want to help me out, hit the like button. Also, while you're there, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's completely free, it costs nothing, and it helps me out massively. Also, I've recently swapped over to Twitch as my streaming service, so I'm no longer streaming on YouTube. So if you want to follow me on Twitch, you can. Just go to www.twitch.tv forward slash the darts referee. I stream all of my practice sessions on there from seven o'clock till nine o'clock UK time in the evenings. So if you want to follow this series even more and watch me play and see how I'm getting on, then you can find me at Twitch tv forward slash the darts referee link in the description make sure you turn on notifications so you know when i go live as well so rewind back to march when i uploaded episode two of becoming a professional dart player in a year in that episode i set myself a goal of playing for three hours a day to try and improve and to try and get better and during that month i did in fact play for three hours a day but the problem was I didn't get better. I actually kind of got worse. I was expecting to play better. I thought the more practice I was doing, the better I'd get. Now, of course, there is a difference between good practice and bad practice. And I'll admit my practice isn't the most structured practice, but surely any practice is better than no practice. But also during this month, I did something that I hadn't done in a while and something that I kind of regret doing now. And what I did was I joined a couple of online darts leagues. Now, obviously, this is no disrespect to anyone who runs the leagues and stuff. This is all personal. This is all down to me. If you're looking to join a league, go for it. Try it. But for me personally, it wasn't the right thing to do. And I kind of regret doing it now. Now, for me, when it comes to playing darts, I'm extremely competitive. I love to win. I absolutely hate to lose. And I could be playing one of my grandparents and all I want to do is beat them. It doesn't matter who I'm playing. I want to win and I hate losing. So I thought joining an online darts league might bring back that sense of competitiveness. It might bring back my desire to win and it might spur my game on a little bit. But the problem with online darts for me personally is that I really can't do it. I just can't. I'm just rubbish. My game went from like up here sort of okay to just dreadful. I was playing three hours a day. I was also fitting in online darts matches and my average went from probably mid 50s early 60s to low 50s late 40s and considering the amount of time that i'd actually put into playing that month it was really horrible it didn't feel good at all i was losing i was getting beat and i wasn't enjoying my darts anymore now one of the reasons why i dislike online darts so much is because i really struggle with the pacing of a match when you're playing someone in real life you can judge when they're leaving and entering the board you can see them you know when they've thrown their darts you know when they're walking to get their darts out you know when the score's been done and for online darts it was just frustrating to me it was annoying to me to play against people and this is no disrespect to anyone who i played against this is not out of you this is completely out of your control this is just an issue that i have is because I can't see my opponent and because I'm not watching my opponent throw right in front of me, it just messes with my timing. And I'll stand there and I'll get ready to throw my dart and then I'll hear them walk towards the board or I see them pull their darts out and realize I have to wait. Then they've got to type their score in. And it just made it not fun for me. I got to the point in these leagues where I went from wanting to beat absolutely everyone to kind of wishing that I was going to lose 6-0 so the game wouldn't last as long. And all of my competitive drive was completely gone. I just lost all of it. I'd wake up dreading the fact that I've got an online match tonight. 
I wouldn't want to practice before the games because I didn't even want to play the games. And for me, this really affected my game. It really affected my confidence and it really affected my desire to actually play darts. So that's why there was never an April episode. There was never a May episode and there was never a June episode. So why is there a July episode? Well, recently, since I've stopped playing in the online leagues, my desire to play darts has gone through the roof, literally through the roof. I go to sleep wanting to play darts. I go to work and I want to play darts. I come home and I can't wait just to throw darts at a dartboard. It sounds weird, but I just I just can't wait. I'm so excited to play darts all the time at the moment. And also, if you didn't know, in the UK, the lockdown restrictions have almost completely gone and darts leagues and tournaments and stuff are all starting up again. And that's exactly where I play darts best. I play darts best under pressure in real life after having a few beers, not gonna lie, and just in these real life situations. So the idea of darts coming back and the idea of playing against real people in real situations, in real leagues, in real tournaments, it's just made me want to play again. It's just made me want to get as good as humanly possible or as good as I can possibly get in the shortest amount of time so that when the tournaments start up, I'll play well and I'll feel good and I'll enjoy my darts again. Another reason why I stopped the series for a few months was basically because I didn't have anything to report. I was not playing very well, but I wasn't playing in anything. I didn't want to tell you guys that I'd lost 6-0 in an online league averaging 48 because why would I want to tell that? But the reason this is coming back now is because I'm recording this on a Tuesday and on the Saturday just gone, I played in my first in real life darts tournament since March 2020. Honestly, it was like Christmas for me. The idea of going to this tournament and playing was, it was like being a kid again. It was like being excited again for something that I haven't been excited for in, in a while. So the tournament, how did it go? Um, it didn't go great. I'm not gonna lie. It didn't go great, but it was good to be back. Now I had no expectations and I knew that it wasn't gonna click straight away. But then there's also the problem of, I got to the tournament and I saw the draw and I was playing against a guy called Stephen Burton who has played in the World Championships. He's had a tour card and as much as I would like to think that I've got a chance against him, I, I really don't. He's too, he's far too good. But the experience of playing and everything like that was just great. It was so nice to be back playing again. So I actually won the bullseye, which is a positive. I had a dart at the bullseye in the first leg for a 1-2-6 to beat him in the first leg, which I missed, admittedly, but I had a chance. And this was against a guy who's played in the World Championships. This isn't against Doris the Bar Lady. This is against a person who is actually a very, very, very good dart player. This is someone who beats me probably 999 times out of a thousand, if not more. And I felt good because I almost got a leg. I know it's nothing huge and I got beat 3-0, but I have to take positives away from it. And winning the bullseye and having a dart at the first leg to win it is uh, definitely a positive. So my plan from here on is to do more of these episodes. If you guys do like these episodes and you want to find out what's going on in my life and in my world of darts on my road to Q school in 2022, then hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of information you'd like to know. If you'd like to see me record some statistics from a tournament that I played in, or if you want to see anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. It really, really helps the channel out. It really helps me out. And I really appreciate everyone who watches these videos. And don't forget, seven p.m uk time i stream on twitch the link is in the description below follow me turn on notifications and come chill come chat while i'm while i'm having a practice it's a good laugh there's a lot of banter and you might see a couple of 180s but anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please smash a like on it subscribe if you haven't subscribed already it's completely free and it really helps me out i've got another tournament this thursday coming up so hopefully that goes well and i'm sure i'll fill you in on it on the next episode anyway guys thanks for your patience Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.